Hey, let us talk about mythology again. This time, let us dive even further into our Greyman journey. But as always, before we are getting started, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, share this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Beginning with the Sons of Horus The Sons of Horus were not merely sons of the Sky God, but also crucial figures in the realm of death and the afterlife. These four deities, which would be Imseti, Harpy, Nduamutev, and Kebe Senwev, were inextricably linked to the funerary rituals of ancient Egypt. Their primary role was the protection of the deceased's internal organs during the mummification process. Quite specific, I think. But these vital organs were removed and placed in canopic jars, with each son assigned a specific organ to safeguard. That would be the following. Mseiti watched over the liver, Harpy protected the lungs, Duamutev guarded the stomach, and Kebe Senwev cared for the intensitants. These organs were believed to be essential for the disease's continued existence in the afterlife. And beyond their role as, well, organ protectors, the sons of Horus acted also as powerful guardians on a journey to the underworld. So, you are not alone in your passage over there. They were seen as formidable figures, capable of warding off dangers and ensuring the safe passage of the soul. Again, a common trait in so many mythologies, the safe passage and the guidance. Their presence was considered vital for a successful transition into the afterlife. Up next, we are going to the Greek realm, beginning with Macadia, known in Greek mythology as the daughter of Hades and Persephone. She holds a unique role in the pantheon as the goddess, associated with a blessed death. So, unlike other deities linked to death, Macadia's domain is more closely tied to the peaceful fortunate passing of souls, often connected with afterlife rewards for the righteous. And as the daughter of Hades, the god of the underworld, Akadia's presence in Greek mythology reflects the softer, more compassionate side of death. She is seen as a counterpart to the more somber, sometimes fearsome aspects of the underworld offering a serene transition for souls destined for Elysium or the Isles of the Blessed, if you remember one of our previous journeys. In this way, Akaria's role complements that of her father, overseeing the aspect of death that involves not punishment, but peace and final rest for those who have led virtuous lives. So, live righteous, and you will be rewarded afterwards. Trust me, it is worth. Now, the next one might be a little bit surprising. Hermes, the messenger of the gods in Greek mythology, may not spring to mind as a deity of death, does he? But his role as a psychopomp, which basically is an escort of souls to the afterlife, so a soul guidance, makes him a crucial figure in this domain. While Hermes is widely recognized for his swiftness and his duties as a herald of the gods, he also serves a vital function in guiding the souls of the deceased to the underworld. As a psychopomp, Hermes is responsible for leading the souls of the dead to Hades, the ruler of the underworld. His role ensures that the journey from the world of the living to the realm of the dead, is safe and orderly. This task reflects his ability to traverse boundaries, not just between the mortal and divine realms, but also between life and death. So, Eros' involvement in this process highlights the Greek understanding of death as a passage rather than an end. 
with a God acting as a guide to ensure that each soul reaches its proper destination. His presence provides comfort to all in the face of death, making him an essential figure in Greek mythology's intricate portrayal of the afterlife. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of mythology where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.